I'm Isaiah Carey. Did the pastor of a local church really turn down a senior citizen who died's funeral because she didn't keep up with her tithe? I'll have what the pastor had to say coming up. Fox 26 News at 5 starts right now. The Houston family is angry after being told that its 93-year-old matriarch will not be buried by their home church. That family spoke with Fox 26, expressing both outrage and disappointment because of that. Fox 26's Isaiah Carey is live in the newsroom with the Factor Uncensored. Isaiah? Well, Katie, we know the Bible tells us to give back to our place of worship. It's a common practice, almost expected. But should we be made to suffer if we don't give that 10% to the church or the man in the pulpit? One local woman says she had to peddle her mother bodies from church to church to funeralize her because her home church absolutely would not because it was like the last insult in the world there was nothing else that I could do for my mommy but bury but, but funeralize her in the church that she loved and worshiped all of her life even as a little girl Barbara Day is understandably angry she says her 93 year old mother Olivia Blair died more than a week ago Day says when she went to the church her mother has called home for 50 years fourth missionary Baptist to ask if the senior's funeral could be held there she says she was told absolutely not by the pastor that she had not paid her dues and she had not attended the church in recent years that they did not owe it to her. That he did not say we didn't owe it to her, but he said it was because of the dues and not attending the church. For the last two years, my mother has been in either a nursing home or she's been in a hospital. In the last few months, she was in a coma. Day says her stepfather was buried at the church and her mother was a diehard supporter of Reverend Walter Houston at the church on Webster. That's why she can't believe the religious leader turned her down flat when it came to her mother's funeral. There's no explanation for anybody that has been paying dues for a church that long for him to make me have to roll my mother's body around town and somebody finally picks her up and say, yeah, we'll do the best we can. They knew she was ill. They don't care. All they care about is getting money, 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 money. I've not, even retail stores give people more respect than that. I don't understand why we've become so commercialized with religion. What does this have to do with God? Why can't I give my mother her last wish to be funeralized in a church that she loves so much. And that is Barbara Day, understandably upset. Now joining us is Tyrone Jobs. Yes. You are the owner, publisher of PimpPreacher.com, better correct. known as TJ. Yes. You first broke this story on your website. You reached out to us here in Houston. Yes. It actually got you on the road from New Orleans yes. to Houston because yes. this was so egregious to you. Yes. What did you think about it? Well, we were contacted last week, and when when we encountered this story, we couldn't believe it. And it was it, 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 it really, my whole entire organization at PimpPreacher.com, you know, was upset about it. This is primarily what we do. We deal with um, pastor accountability issues. So when we came across a, a, a pastor refusing to bury a member who had been a member for 50 years um, because of a tithing issue. That money. Money. Because of a money. Dues, um, whatever they want to call it. Membership fees for a church. Um, it, it, it caused us to drive over here. And um, I pleaded with this pastor. I pleaded with him all day Sunday. Last week, I said, look, hey, can you please reconsider? Please reconsider. Walter he Houston, me, and he absolutely he said He told me no. absolutely not. He said he didn't want to apologize to the other families. Now, also, I had a chance to speak with him uh, this afternoon, and he said that this was about she was no longer a member. She right. wasn't a member for 10 years, right. and she did not support the church financially. Right. Uh, her daughter, Barbara Day, says that's not true. It's not true at all. She left the church maybe two years ago when she became ill and was always dedicated, never went to another church. Right, that's correct. And, and it's also important to note because I asked the pastor, I said, well, why didn't someone go check on her? Why, you know, why didn't someone go to reach out to her? And um, his reply to me, it was up to the family to notify him. And the, the, the comment that really set us off was if the family cared so much, why didn't they at least send a dollar to the church a week to uh, reserve her membership. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. TJ from PimpPreacher.com, we want to thank you for driving all the way here to Houston. Thank you, man. And you have a protest plan as well Absolute, coming soon. Absolutely. And we'll keep you updated on the factor with that. Once again, we did reach out to Pastor Walter Houston to go on camera several times and extended him an invitation here on the factor, and he declined. In the newsroom for the factor, uncensored, Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News.